Hello my dear children welcome to learners planet children today is session 1 about measurement so children let's study about measurement children you might have seen a tailor measuring cloth to make a dress right can you see in the pictures you also might have seen a vegetable seller asks you how much of vegetable you need right can you see in this picture right so children something is being measured in each of the following pictures you can see this you can see all the pictures right for example this person is weighing gold you can see in this example this is a picture which is showing that fruits are being weighed right you can see something is measured in this weighing balance right so can you guess what is being measured in all the pictures yes let's study about this we need to measure many different things in our daily life right we need to measure length of objects we need to measure weight of objects amount of liquid such as milk and oil we also need to measure time on the clock and the temperature right so children let's study about measurement of length so children in early days people used body parts as units to measure length right they used measures such as hand span you can see this in the picture they also used stride they used measures like cubit and foot span so in early days people used their body parts as units to measure the length let's see one example you can see in the picture aditya measured the length of his table and found that it was 15 hand spans long right but what happened when his teacher measured the same table yes his teacher measured the same table and found that it was 8 hand spans long so how this difference occurred how come we can see that when aditya measured it was 15 hand spans but but when his teacher measured it was 8 hand spans why why it was different yes it was different because aditya was small and his teacher palms were long right so there was a difference between their hand spans so can you say why the measurements differ because some people have bigger palms than others what is 10 hand spans for one maybe 18 for another 
And what is 15 hand spans for one may be 8 for another. Right? In the same way, other body parts also give different measurements when measured by different people. So we need to have a fixed unit for measuring you think. Right? So we used to have a fixed unit for measuring things. So let's study about some of the measurements. So this is example of the meter. The meter is the unit used for measuring length. And smaller lengths are measured in centimeters. Okay children, so you can see that this is a small scale. It has a counting of 1 to 10 centimeter. So we can say that smaller lengths are measured in centimeters. But The bigger lengths are measured in meters. Right? For example, we can say that this paintbrush is 10 cm long. Right? So this is a small thing. But if it is greater than 10, 15 or 20 cm, then or if the thing is very much long, then what will happen? We will have to measure it in meters. Right? So we can say that meter is written as small m and the centimeter is written as small cm. Okay children? Always remember these units. Okay, now we will study about measurement of mass. So what is mass? Yes, mass tells us how heavy or light an object is. Like we use a weighing balance to find the mass of an object. Right? As shown in the picture, a pear is a fruit which has been measured in the weighing balance. Right? Okay? And we can also see some other examples like watermelon and apple. Watermelon is heavier than apple. So the mass of watermelon is larger than apple. In the same way you can see in the picture, this ball has a heavy mass as compared to this ball. Right? Okay. So we can say that mass tells us how heavy or light an object is. So we can say that kilogram is the unit used for measuring mass. And smaller masses are measured in grams. Okay children? So we can also say that kilogram is written as kg. And gram is written as small g. Okay children. You can see in the picture. Yes. This is the machine on which we can weigh our balance. We can weigh our weight. Right? And it is measured in kg 
okay so next time if you visit any hospital just weigh your balance on this machine and you can see that how much kilogram you are weighing right okay children so children here we are going to see some examples observe the mass of the following things as shown on the balance for example you can see that the chick weighs 2 kg right same way we will see the other example the vegetables weigh 1 kg right you can see this let's see some other examples an apple weighs 500 grams because it is smaller so it is measured in grams not in kilograms same way this is a very small chocolate so the chocolate weighs 100 grams it will not be measured in kilograms for example a broccoli a single broccoli a single vegetable weighs 500 grams and you can see this the bag of sugar weighs 3 kg that is 3 kilograms because it is the bag of sugar right so it is more heavier it carries more mass so this will be measured in kilograms right so children i hope that you enjoyed session 1 about measurement we will continue this lesson in the next session that is session 2 okay children keep studying and keep enjoying thank you